Hello! Welcome to Let's Try. We're trying Zorbas. Um, a couple things before we begin. Um, first of all, uh, so this is a traditional roguelike, uh, a legitimate traditional roguelike, and uh, it's a really interesting looking one. I'm really excited to try it. And when I say try, I, I want to make it clear that this is more or less a blind let's try. I am, uh, I've got the manual open on the right side. I've been doing a little bit of experimentation with it, but I wanted to enter in mostly blind because I am interested um, to try this game and I want to, I guess, give a um, first impressions uh, look at this game. Also, um, just a uh, one extra thing here is this I think this is a, a really good candidate for a series and I'm interested in doing one because it, it's got some really cool um, quality of life mechanics for a traditional roguelike um, so we're gonna see we're gonna see how uh, this goes but uh, this this game is also already very promising to me um, but we're gonna give it a go a December tournament there's a tournament right now uh, I don't know how how far you can get but uh, you, you can apparently win an uh, Amazon gift card which is <laughs> pretty fun um, so I'm gonna go ahead and roll I'm actually gonna roll an archer um, I, I do tend to do like sword and board like warrior um, I want to try something a little bit different this time and I'm hoping that the, the archer is pretty friendly I've got uh, I've got the basics in mind here um, for how to play an archer, but we're gonna we're gonna give it a go. Welcome to Zorbus. Press H twice for a tutorial. Oh, we could we could do a tutorial. Why not? Um, so, enter uh, I for equipment, character sheet, all the basic stuff. Level level loot. Now this is something that is really interesting. There's actually a mod for um, Caves of Cud that does basically this, but uh, basically you can open a menu that shows all of the loot currently on the floor, and then just pick and choose uh, what you want to. Uh, to pick up which i think is a really nice quality of a life feature um oh and okay so there's our health creatures with green health are, bar are friendly creatures with red bar are hostile blue health bar are hostile summoned creatures okay so some things can summon creatures we can yell um this is an interesting feature but we can basically lure um creatures towards us by yelling at them um, and we have continuous and autopilot um, uh, controls. We also have uh, certain features that let us block off certain parts of the dungeon um, so that our character does not automatically go in and jump into danger. We'll have to experiment with that. We've got talents. We've got um, we've got a lot of really cool stuff. Quick switch in am different ammunition types. Shoot or reach attack marked target talent marked. All right, and we also have uh, gameplay, uh, uh, gamepad controls. So I have to imagine this game will probably run pretty well on uh, on the Steam Deck. Picked up humanoid bones. Well, I definitely don't want to do that. Uh, I wish I hadn't done that. Uh, backpack, humanoid bones. Right click. We, we dropped it. That's that's good. Okay, we got a tips and tricks book. Let's pick up the tips tips and tricks book. Read the book. There are teleporters to Carrillo, the trading uh, demiplane on all dungeon levels. You can recognize these by the dice symbol painted on the floor. Carrillo has shops where you can trade items, and a tavern where you can hear the latest rumors. If you have already discovered the teleporter to Carrillo on your current map, you can use autopilot commands to automatically travel to the teleporter. Press S in the autopilot mode. There's an autopilot mode. This is interesting. Autopilot... To, I, I know about autopilot to next nearest uh, unexplored location. Oh, okay. Press P to enter autopilot mode. Select the destination point and press enter. So I'm assuming this, this is going to be very important. Health surge. Rest in peace and darkness. Close nearby doors and or unlit any nearby uh, light sources, including your own lantern, before resting. Most creatures in the dungeon have dark vision, but they can see very far with it can't see very far with it quick slot your equipped lantern so that it is easy to unlit and lit um all right how would we do that unequip can be quickly dimmed by the shutters on the side so is that if we press b is that what no
I have to say, I really appreciate um, it just like having information available to you at all times to switch to map items. Control plus tab. Hmm. Okay, we'll we'll figure out um, putting putting a, a lamp in in your quick bar later. Player's handbook. Let's go grab that. How, we will have a quick cursory glance at it. Display key bindings is H. All right, let's see. Let's have a quick look at H. Swap weapons. Auto explore. Auto pilot. Um, rest stamina. Rest health. Okay, this is probably going to be very helpful. This is the kind of thing I I, I actually think that. Um, even the Caves of Code would benefit from. I, I know there is a, uh, a help uh, menu that shows you something similar to that, but it's, it's very text heavy. Okay, so we got some giant fire beetles. Um, do we have our bow equipped? We have a sling equipped. We don't have a bow right now. Okay, so we can hit, uh, we can press F to enter fire mode and fire on them. Uh, hopefully. Um, could kill you in nine rounds. I like that kind of transparent information. So it looks like we cannot uh, fire on them. Maybe we need a line of sight. Or maybe we're out of range. It looks like I cannot fire onto them. I, I really cannot get like fire on them. It won't let me fire on them. Yo, my dude. Uh, range for current action is one to two. That's why. Distance to current target is four. So I can only throw um, or sling a bullet two tiles away. So there we go. Now we can start slinging some bullets. All right, we, we killed them with relative ease. What do we have on the floor? Um, Kind of wish we had like a uh, list. No, I, I guess we have nothing on the floor. That's just blood. All right, we have a lantern. We can turn that lantern on as we can uh, with these. I wonder um, if this is like some kind of altar. If I like turn all of these on, something will happen. No, nothing. Okay. So why don't we um, go into autopilot mode? Show portals, show area notes. I'm wondering, um, so we can like block off this area. Ooh. Oh, I see. So it's like a whole area, the whole area. Interesting. Okay. Uh, let's do, I think it's control A to, uh, enter autopilot. No, wait, uh, nearest unexplored area. Press E is control E. Okay. So we have very quickly auto explored. We have some broken ta tables and we have a giant gecko. All right, let's uh, let's dispense with this giant gecko. Are we out of bullets? No, I pressed the wrong button. Very bad to press the wrong button when you're still trying to learn the game. Um, all right, so we've got some stuff here. We got some hide armor and a halberd. All right, let's uh, grab this negative two magic. It's got some resistance modifiers. Uh, I don't know if we'll need the halberd. I'm not sure, you know, like every single um, RPG or traditional roguelike has a different idea of what as a player should be capable of. Sometimes, you know, when you're uh, you're an archer, when you're, you know, you can use a melee weapon, you should grab any melee weapon you can. Um, this is, it looks like it might actually have, no, okay. It, there's no, we can compare, but I don't know how to do that just yet. Um, to uh ins or np i'm not sure what either of those buttons to toggle item compare let's try ins okay there we go so we can have a we can we can quickly see uh, what the, these are both um doing for us so definitely the hide, hide armor is better for us might drop the robe of protection uh and we do have a staff for melee so we can do melee uh the halberd is 1.5 rounds um, versus 1.4 rounds on the staff plus one. Uh, the melee attack is less on the halberd. Uh, base 
damage, however, is much more. The base damage on the staff is 2 to 5, blunt, and then the halberd is um, two, 1 to 10, pierce, and uh, there's also a slash uh, potential. And it is a weapon with reach, two-handed, but so is the staff. So we'll switch to the halberd. We'll see how that works, if it works any better. We'll hit Control e again. Unless, what are these? Tube. Yeah, we're very case of code with this. You, ooh, you open the container. That was a very dramatic sound. So what is this on the ground? This teleporter will teleport you to some other place on the same level. Step into the teleporter? Sure. Let's be dangerous. We got some giant rats. Giant rat. May, I've made very quick work. The giant centipede. I, I know from my um, experience in Brogue that you just do not... You do not mess around with giant centipedes. Oh, I thought we were one to two. Oh, I guess our range is three. So we're not, we're not good there. There we go. Oh, we missed. Okay, we're not... We're not in a great situation right here. Because um, I'm a little bit worried about that giant centipede. Uh, goblin now cast mostly harmless. Like, like Earth. The giant centipede bites you and hits. Pierce 1 equals 3, resist 2. You are not affected by the poison. So yes, uh, centipedes can affect you with, uh, with poison in this game. So we're going to try and dispense. We're doing very badly with the... Uh, Oh no, there's a gibbering. Where is this gibbering? I see it's it's beneath us. Um, I don't know how to view it. Can I... Uh, right mouse button autopilot map. I want to see the gibbering. Okay, well, I'm just going to try and melee kill this uh, centipede. And we have a we have a gibbering to ourselves. Let's, okay, there we go. Uh, sorry, not a gibbering, a gibberling. Very different. A novice adventure who is also not our friend. Could kill you in seven rounds. The gibberling is harmless. Um, a gibbering, if you're curious, because um, apparently... That's a, a gibbering mounds are a very D&D &D thing, and they're basically uh, flesh slimes, and they're, they've got like a thousand mouths. They're really like horrible creatures um so this thing is base damage one to eight blunt melee attack two it's uh properties versatile i'm not sure what that means i'm i am learning as i go here a little bit it looks like these isn't life quite boring when you're that old and crippled i can solve that problem for you as you're just about to experience some painful short-term excitement um that uh, almost sounded promising um at, you know it sounded like they could have almost been my friend but no no, not 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 at all. Okay, so let's uh, dispense with this gibberling, and then we're going to go ahead and fire on the adventure. They did some nasty damage to me. Okay, we did all right there. How how is this possible? I was promised so much. So we got some arrows. Um, there's some good stuff on the ground actually. Uh, we got a rapier, um, which is a ha a ta action cost is much lower than our current uh, equipped item it's one to seven base damage it might be better for us straight light narrow blade designed for thrusting sure and then let's also pick up the short bow that's bound to be better than the sling i would have to hope so let's turn on um ins and compare Short bow has less action cost, um, much higher range. Well, actually, no, not higher range. Apparently, our range for the sling is seven, uh, max ten. I'm not sure why I can't hit stuff beyond two tiles. Then, um, but the short bow has higher attack, and DPR is three point eight on the. So is that damage per round? Seems like the short bow is just a straight up upgrade. So let's go ahead and. Switch that. Um, we definitely want to rest. Oh, oh, is that a was that a lantern? Lantern can be qu quickly dimmed by the shutters on the side. Um, yeah, we don't we don't need that. We have a we have a lantern. Kind of want to find a safe place to, to to you know hide. Uh, this could be it actually. So what's what's our range? Range for current action is one to two. 
So it's still not very far. There's a giant lizard there. Let's yell just to bring them in here. That also um, uses up a turn. Oh, our range is three right now. Let's just wait one turn. Get hostile. Were we not hostile before? Okay, we're poisoned. I like that uh, green glow to indicate that, that we are currently not in a good situation. Um, we'll just go ahead and... No, let's back up a bit. Looks like there's some infighting. This game is uh, quite robust. I, I was... I was I'm, I'm, I'm honestly very impressed with this so far. Okay, so we got a little bit of experience from that. Are we enemies to the lizard? Well, maybe, but we can be okay. I kind of want to close this door. Alt, direction to close door. Hold Alt, direction, close door. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to close all these doors and then we're going to rest. I'm pretty sure it's just R. Nope. It might be control R. Um, maybe we can do P. Near stairs down, tracked enemies. This is our map so far. So this is a, we actually have like zones. This is an abandoned laboratory, hence those tubes. We're all the way over here. This The map is huge. Um, okay, so I am looking for rest. I'm going to go ahead and do... I'm, I have a PDF on my second monitor here. Rest. Actually, you know what? It would probably be better just to open up this. Uh, rest health. Okay, so that's that's that. Um, so I don't know what's going on in here. We got some text on the ground. Do not abuse or you'll be punished by the dungeon master. Uh, I don't know if toggling the switch will abuse. There's a writing on the floor. Um, the flick, you flick the switch on, nothing seems to happen. Hmm. Interesting. Got a lot of dead bodies in this room. It's a statue, another statue, another statue. Ooh, interesting stuff on the ground here. Small shield. I pick it up. I pick up some arrows. We got some arrows now. A pillar. Kind of like I can just like auto explore, but I'm kind of enjoying like ro roaming around. Auto picked up from container. It's 24 Zorbits. What is a Zorbit? Is that the currency? That is the currency. Bizarre. Um, so there is a great club. I don't know if that's going to really do it for us. And a mall. Um, these have a weight limit, uh, a, a weight to them, and, and uh, I, I, I worry. So I'm going to go ahead and auto explore. The auto explore seems to be almost instantaneous. Seems like a lot of things are not friends to the salamander or the giant lizard. So I'm going to go ahead and. Okay, this guy is now aggro on me, so I'm gonna go ahead and attack him. You served me well, uh, lizard. So I have Germaline. Germlane, um, who is dangerous, could kill you in six rounds. Uh, so they're, they're firing on me with something. Switches to melee. Okay, so that's good. Hopefully, we could close the door. No, we can't. We missed our chance to close the door. All right, we need to get out of here. I wonder if there's a, a sprinting action. There's X for talents. We have a health surge. When activated, all of your remaining stamina po points are converted to some health points. The amount that the talent will heal is listed after its name in the quick slots panel. Okay, well, let's do that. Ooh, that was a nice hit. I think we crit on them. Please. Yes. Um, we do have a potion of healing. Let's go ahead and use that. This potion will store 12 health points and cures all diseases. I think if it, there's any, ever a moment to use it, now would be the time. Okay, we managed to kill. We got a dagger. These are short spears. I wonder if these are ranged weapons. I'm accruing quite a lot of stuff. Probably going to want to drop some stuff at some point. 
I don't know if I actually like I'm using two-handed weapons so I can't really use um, a shield maybe and also this provides negative two magic I'm not sure if that's good for us Unencumbered. Okay, so we've got tons of room still. Um, I was going to try this rapier. Uh, DPR 4.4 versus the halberd, which is 4.2. Let's uh, switch to the rapier. Rapier is also um, one-handed. It, it does not have reach, though. I'm not sure how we make use of that reach. I'm sure, I'm sure uh, there's a way to do it, but I don't know what it is. So now that we have a one-handed weapon, why don't we go ahead and put our shield on? It does provide us with a little bit of extra bonus. What What is this um, crystal? A crystal formation. Let's go ahead and close this door and... Uh, well, I was hoping that there would be... This would be a place we could rest. I'm not sure if it is. It's uh, it, it, I, I thought we would have leveled by now. Oh God. And there's another Jeremaline. Oh God. This is, this is uh horrible. You know what? Potion of blink teleports the user to a ran random nearby location. There we go. And this is exactly where we want to be. That was actually ideal. There's going to be a lot of infighting in there. Hopefully. Equip a reach weapon, throwable weapon, or shooting weapon. Do we not have a throwable weapon? We, we, our short bow is not... Oh, did I press R instead of F? Why, why can't I attack this uh, lad? Huh? Shooting weapon and enemy... I, I do. I have, uh, I have my short bow equipped. Um, I don't understand. Suitable items for equipment slot set to main hand. Oh, do we, can we, is this two-handed? It is two-handed, so we can't, um, we have to unequip the shield. There's two germalanes, and, uh, they, one of those almost took us out, so we, we are not good. I, I should not have come back here. I'm gonna use another potion of blink. So now there's a ton of, of, uh, horrible creatures. Um, filling the the halls What do you mean equip equip a reach weapon a throwable weapon? I do I, I, I even unequipped our shield. I Don't understand at all Goes berserk you'll find nothing but death um, Did I pick something up? I'm, I'm kind of struggling right now. Apparently we don't have our... I, I unequipped the short bow. I mean, that makes sense. But why can't we use it? So I don't know if this rapier is actually doing us any good. I'm going to switch back to the halberd maybe. Yeah, it looks like for some reason having the rapier equipped means we can't use uh, the, hal the, the short bow. I don't know why that is. That doesn't make any sense to me. You know what? I think that I've been using my melee weapon for range this whole time because in that, that it would explain why um why my range is only two tiles so actually maybe i need to switch back to the rapier and um figure out how to switch into uh, switch our weapons let me let me give me give me one second here fire ranged swap weapons Short bow. Oh my god. He figured it out. This is much better. We have much more chances now to, to do some damage from distance. Oh, I cannot believe this whole time I've been uh, I've been a ranged user and I have not been using ranged. Oh god, giant giant bat. Okay. Mostly harmless. We we should be fine. Let's switch back to our melee weapon and uh attack. Honestly, oh, it ran away. That's really smart. Oh, that's a that's a friendly elephant, right? Right? Okay, good. 
Elephant is actually friendly. Can we uh, become friends? Deadly. Could kill you in three rounds. I would like to become friends. Middle mouse button interact. Tame. You can have max spirit modifier calculated from the base unadjusted spirit value plus one recruits at a time. That is a lot of really cool stuff in this game. Does not seem to be interested in following you. Could we try again? Does not seem to be interested in following you. I have a funny feeling that uh, it's just like a base stat, and if you don't meet, match it, then you don't you don't get two. So that's fine. So we're gonna switch back to our short bow. Try and make some more good stuff happen. Let's switch back to our halberd or rapier, I guess. Yeah. Uh, enter to close. Whoops. Okay, uh, health surge. Please kill. Please kill. Oh my god. That was dangerous. This is, uh, this is one of those games where you can just, you know, be in a bad situation. Is that the bat again? The, it seems like switching weapons takes up quite a, a few rounds. Animal noise. Uh, it sounds like that elephant might take them out. Death. I, it, it, what, it kind of blows my mind. Are we not on good terms right now? It seems like we're not on good terms. The The health bar is, is reddish. I just, uh, I'm a little worried that because the elephant could absolutely take me out here. I wonder if maybe I ticked it off by trying to make it my friend. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, I gotta make sure here. Rest health. We're gonna rest our health. Cannot rest with hostile creature. Are we are we hostile, Mr. Elephant? Okay, well, I guess we're okay. We can rest here. Let's go ahead and rest here. Get our stamina back. Ape. Um, we are too far away. Actually, the ape is friendly. The green health bar uh, lets us know that. Let's do a, yeah, hostile creature scene. Let's go ahead and, uh, oh, that's a germaline. Okay, maybe let's see how we fare against the germaline with, with arrows much better this time. Okay, that was, that was so much better. Definitely, we um, have a, 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 a disadvantage when we're using a ranged weapon up front. Humanoid skeleton, huh? Dangerous. I have to imagine um, using a bow is not great. There's a hammer on the ground. I have to, have to imagine that using this hammer would be good. Control left class to, to equip to, yeah, let's do that. And now look at that. Actually, the uh, the skeleton switched, um, like their their danger level switched, and now they're only intimidating. I like that. Oh, this game's got really good quality of life features. Cannot make attacks, melee attacks with your current weapon. Excuse me. We can't. Uh, is this a two-handed weapon? It's a throwing weapon. It can also be thrown. Um, do I, which one do I have equipped right now? Hammer. Oh, okay. We had our, uh, our bow equipped. We can see in the top left what is currently equipped. Um, there's a long sword. I'm not sure. Is the long sword good? 1d, 1.3 rounds. It's, um, DPR is 4.3. That's actually really good. So let's pick that up. And, um... I kind of wish I had uh, weapon sets, but this long sword compared it to uh, DPR point four point three versus oh four point four is still better, but it offers slashing versus piercing, or we could go for halberd, which is just both. So honestly, I'm not sure why. Well, halberd is also a two-handed weapon. I'm 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 kind of like 
in a very cake and eat it too uh mode right now let's just let's drop some of the stuff that we know we can't use something attacking us right now giant rat nothing's attacking us elephant gores the giant rat but misses we can't reach that yet are we're not hostile right really don't want to accidentally hit the elephant um let's go ahead and switch to our hammer this could be bad health surge time jeez this is not over eventually you zord hearts i don't like that why did he call me a zord heart My minions, where are you? Help me. You, you, your glorious leader. Uh, we have another short bow. I wouldn't mind comparing it. We have a scimitar. Oh, we have leather. I can't help but uh, look at all the weapons and, and want to make, you know, comparisons here. So is this any different? Uh, it looks to be exactly the same. Okay, so we'll just drop that. Ouch! You spring a slime trap. A pool of slime appears. You're caught in the slime. Okay. That was somewhat dangerous. Oh no, there's a jackal. But the jackal is uh, friendly, I'm pretty sure. Ouch! We've got a, a fungal forest. I think I woke up the lizard man. We managed to kill uh, the liz the the germaline. My my stamina is not so good right now. Oh, that's a friendly. Hold your weapons, elf. I mean you no harm. Talk to me if you need help. Yeah, let's uh, let's let's chat. Um, how do I chat? I guess it's I just interact. With them. Jet Lorne, my name is Agdatil. Character sheet. Recruit. You can have max spirit modifier. Oh, right. I will follow you. Oh wow! So we've got a we've got a friendo. Can we interact with this campfire? Oh, we can we can light it. Um, I kind of wouldn't mind. Let's uh, close this room. Oh no! Door opened. What is that? Out. Oh. Jubilee. Okay, that's fine. Oh, looks like this our friendo is also a ranged user. We've got some uh, mushrooms. I want to close this door and rest. Um, not our health, our actually our stamina. Okay, so that should be fine now. A little bit paranoid of those mushrooms. Um, <laughs> okay, we're going to switch to melee. And hit them. There we go. We took them out. I can't believe. I really like. I know that. Um, you know, I can see our experience in the top left, but I, I just it, it blows my mind that we haven't leveled up yet. We've killed so many things. What's an expert? Nice. An expert is dead. That's what an expert is. Okay. Uh, we're good. Let's do control E Hostile creature is that elephant really hostile and that does kind of worry me a little bit but We've got uh, this thing this room keeps teleporting us So we've got in the chest a short bow same space same basic short bow, I think And a war hammer. So that was like, oh, I guess we got a little bit of money as well. Okay All right, let's uh fire onto the Nice. With our uh, our newfound companion, we're doing much better. Um, oof. Oh, there's a kobold. Are they running? After them. Oh, there's a, another germaline. I'm sure I'm pronouncing that wrong. Someone's going to tell me how to pronounce that. 
and it's gonna be not what I'm saying, and that's fine. Not not a good idea to let a uh, kobold roam free. Generally speaking, but it looks like they got away. Oh, I will return. No, you won't. There we go. You're dead now. Okay, let's uh, control E. I can. I still cannot believe we have not leveled up. It's just blowing my mind. You smashed the bush. Why would I want to do that? Secret door. Oh my god. And there's a skeleton. Uh, we're gonna want to switch to our hammer. Nice. We've got something in here. Another skeleton. Level up. We did it. When you reach a new experience level, you get skill points that you can divide as you wish or save for later level ups. Skill points can only be used on level ups. Raising a skill by one rank to uh, cost skill points equal to of the of the new rank. Uh, maximum rank of a skill is your current level. Okay. When a skill is used, the keys, uh, skills key ability modifier is added to the skills base rank. There's a lot of D&D &D in this one. I know there's a lot of D&D &D in a lot of uh, traditional roguelikes, but this one, uh, like, very much so. Um, I kind of want to add to our ranged. Use for ranged combat. If we um, improve it by one, we open up a lot of potential talents. Dual shot, improved range criticals, multi-shot, ranged elemental damage. I think that all of those become available to us. So let's um let's put one. Oh wait, it's gonna cost two. Well that's okay. We should we have two points, right? It looks like it won't let us. Oh I guess our level is two, so that means our maximum ranged is two. Okay, right, makes sense. We could level up magic. Um let's I kinda wanna level up dodge higher uh, if your dodge skill is higher than your melee skill uh you try to dodge attacks instead of trying to parry them okay and then we could also well that's it it costs two points to increase dodge to level two kind of wouldn't mind saving our since it took us so long to level up i almost kind of want to save our points and get to level three ranged on the next level up but we'll do this just for just for um you know Improving seeing what what we can do here permanent include increases body ability by one point. Oh are these We can't take any of these these are these are new things we could have taken This, this talent boosts a movement speed by four for the duration. Oh, that's their sprint Can we go back? I kind of want to go back. I want to take this Oh, and then there's like a lot of other talents um, that are not available to us can we go back? We can go back. Okay, so let's take off dodge. I would like speed burst. No, no, that won't, they won't let us. Okay, so I may as well take the dodge then. Um, your current body score is listed in the parentheses after the ability. Really not sure um, why it won't let us take these, like any of these. Okay. Well, we got some more health and more stamina. Mostly, um, mostly good things. Another secret door and two elephants. If only we could have them join us. We have a sturge. Oh, I know what a sturge is. Oh God, that takes me back. A sturge is, um, I almost died unarmed. Oh, I threw the hammer. <laughs> Oops, I forgot I had the hammer equipped. Okay, we'll have to pick that up when we're done this combat. Okay, that was good. Um, Surge is one of the first things I ever almost died to in D&D. &D. And, um, yeah, they suck. They're kind of like the worst, uh, they're, they're like the, the worst mosquito you can possibly imagine, but they're, they're far more dangerous than, than it, than, than I guess than that sounds. Really worried about this elephant. They, they, it's just, I don't know. I pissed them off. Switch to range. Okay, so yeah, opening up anything was not necessarily what we wanted to do. But that's okay. We're fighting zombies, and zombies are okay with, um, piercing weapons. 
generally piercing or slashing is good against a zombie. Every time I open a, a one of these, I get a zombie. That's my prize. Studded leather, bladed shield. Ooh. Um, studded leather is actually pretty good. Let's pick up both of those. Bladed sh shield offers more defense, I think. Let's do ins. Uh, ability requirements. Okay, so it has requirements, but it offers the same defense, but offers a little bit of damage which is interesting. I'm not sure how that damage uh, is applied. I don't know if you get to attack with it, if you have to attack with it. The studded leather is um, less magic. So this is very true to D&D as well, is uh, the, the better armor you equip, um, the the less you your, your magic tends to function. Um, in, at least in D&D, uh, what happens is that you have a a penalty to like successfully casting your spells so it's kind of a risk thing like you can as a uh, wizard or, or I, I, sorcerers are less um they, they, they sorcerers tend to be able to wear armor but um a wizard if they wear armor uh they'll they'll have a, a risk to to failing their their spells so in this it looks like um you just your spells are less effective the the better armor you equip wizards are very much glass cannons so that guy said um let's use a teleporter which is interesting what do we have here kit of sonic burst trap what kit of sonic burst trap okay so we've got traps we can apply which is interesting we've got torch oh secret our, our i think our friend found a secret door there Come on, come on in here, uh, friendo. Hidden shrine. Oh, it looks like the, the, this lad is actually fine. And beetle. We can't befriend them, but at least they're not, um, our enemy. So there is a mod for this. I haven't installed it because I don't really have the heart to do it yet, but there's a mod in for Caves of Cud that I have considered at least, um, equipping. Which, um makes it so that you anything that uh is like far inferior to you in experience and combat prowess will just not attack you which i i, I like that idea it looks like we teleported an elephant in not sure oh looks like the elephant and the jackal are fighting yeah that that jackal got completely obliterated um hostile scene where crocodile there it is a lot of crystals in here i'm not sure what we do about crystals um why can't i shoot him do i not have line of sight i guess you need you do need line of sight this novice adventurer is uh, doing a good job at resisting my attacks. One lucky shot here, maybe? Nope. So I'll, I'll, I'll switch to the crocodile. There we go. And we need to take out that adventurer. There we go. Perfect. Uh, we could st stand to heal a little bit. This is an interesting room, which scares me a little bit. We have a great flail, which has DPR 5.2. It is two-handed, however. Uh, property is great. <laughs> two to 12 uh, blunt or, oh, I see blunt 2d6. I see. So that the base damage that shows us the range of damage and then it shows us 2d6 is like what 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 the actual dice rolls are being rolled So that's kind of nice. I like that a level of information. There's not really anything there that we can use Let's 
switch to melee. There we go. 150 in experience. Sturges are no joke. We're still kind of uh, managing. Oh, this elephant keeps stopping me. Okay, so there, if I hit space, cannot explore. Oh, right. We we looked at this, right? Oh, no, we didn't, apparently. So if it, I hit space, this is uh, something I really appreciate in this game, is it shows us um, all of the stuff on this floor currently, like everything. And it also shows us a little map um, showing us like, like how we get to that item. Um, this is a feature I really appreciate and I, I, I just like the level of, uh, you know, quality of life features in this game is, it's kind of absurd. Um, so what I want to do now is uh, I want to hit H again. I just really like this, this, uh, this uh, feature. Um, I want to go downstairs. We're going to go downstairs. There's auto attack. Um, I don't know what these quick buttons are. I'm going to have to figure that out. Uh, maybe in my own time. Map point. Uh, you know what? Let's do auto. Yeah. Okay. Let's go to a, the stairs and we'll just click over there. Perfect. All right. There is no coming back to this dungeon level. That's fine. I also, I have to say, I really like the layout of the dungeon. Um, I, I appreciate that the map is like color coded. Uh, so we, we can see different parts of the map. It doesn't really help. I got to say because like, you know For the purposes of not getting lost. I still don't know where everything is. I don't really have my bearings But I, I appreciate that, you know, there's a little bit of variation to the dungeon. Okay, they're fleeing Also really like that uh, Monsters flee in this game That's a it's a very clever little um, AI trick I really need him to die. The worst is honestly if a um, enemy flees and then tells like their friends, giant wasp. Nice. Got a potion of healing. That's good. We were running out of those. Oh, wolves. Okay, let's switch to our melee. Done. We'll just hit E. Kind of running out of arrows a little bit. Oh, our friend is not doing all right. We we have to step in and help them. We've got a gremlin. We've got an orc as well. Things are getting kind of spicy. Okay, things are getting too spicy for us. Um, friendo, you're gonna have to back up. I'm a little bit worried. Oh, he's used his health surge. Okay, maybe we can get through this then. Patrol leader. Oh, wow. Um, he's shooting at me. So health surge myself. I honestly don't mind if they run away. Okay, we need to back up. Oh god. So these are summoned enemies. Friendo. Friendo, I need you to back up. I don't know how to I don't know how to control my my friend. Block area, um toggle sound, quick slots, resting items movement. Again, the fact that there's color-coded uh buttons is it's just such a nice thing. Control direction key versus a friendly creature to interact with them. This is the opposite in Caves of Cud, where uh, control pr press a plus a direction key is um, manually attack something. Um, press a blind binded key on your keyboard to get a description of the command. Okay, well, um, there's a chance that my friend might die here. I really don't want him to, but... He blinked? Really? What a villain. Okay, our friend is alive. I can't believe it. Kenku, oh no. They are intimidating. Diseased rat, oh god. 
please do not okay we, we managed to not get disease really worried about our friend okay he's he's okay this is not a bad place to rest let's rest is this the same kobold leader i swear to god i swear to god health is low we do have a health surge but not a very good one because it, it's still kind of on cooldown our dude isn't in the way now which is fine because I, I have them take the brunt okay we got we got some good experience from that okay we need to rest all right we, we got out of that we got out of all of that both of us we're both alive what is happening? Oh no, giant lizards. These are summoned uh, enemies. The blue means summoned enemies. We're, um, we're getting pretty tanky, which is nice. Nice. Okay, let's, uh, heal. We have a kobold sorcerer. That's scary. Kill them. Nice. We got a lot of lizards in our way again. The sound effects are, are getting to be a bit much. Um, okay, rest until healed again. We're, we're still going strong here. Imp. Oh no, we're poisoned. Okay, we're not doing... We, we don't have the chops to take them on. I'm gonna health surge. Hopefully I can like just wait out the potion poison a little bit. Oh, did our friend manage to kill him? Okay. Oh, there's a lot of uh, stuff in here. Do we have? Yeah, is this better? I don't think it's any better. Um, let's rest in here. This is a, a good a place as any. All right. Still going strong. Still okay right now. There's someone there. Yeah, there is. It's me. Blows horn. Oh, that's not good. We got some some a war horn. Oh, nice. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and pincer tactic them okay grimlock dangerous oh god they can they can take us out health surge time one good crit would would do it Nope. Get back here. The fact that they can run away is kind of wild. <laughs> Splits. <laughs> oh my god. They all just run away. And I can't hit them. A well with mysterious liquid. Yeah, sure. Drink from the well. Go. We created a water elemental. This is an ally. Um, that's nice. Let's rest for the time being. There's our, our friend, uh, the Grimlock, back. Um, our friend is in the way, so I can't hit him. I think we, we managed to hit the Grimlock, but we didn't kill him. What's this uh, writing on the fo floor? Nothing is written in stone, except for that writing, apparently. Nice. We've got two allies now. Ouch. You spring and a trap, a loud alarm is heard. The container was trapped. All right, let's close the door and wait for a time. Who, who pack? What is a who pack? 
is a st staff topped with a fork and a sling on one end and a sharp spike on the other. It can be used both as a melee weapon and a ranged reach weapon. It uses sling bullets. What a bizarre weapon. I've never heard heard of a hoopack. Um, is our light out? We're, we're, we don't have a light source. Oh, now we do. Uh, I wonder why it was unequipped like that. That was weird. We got more of these gremlins that can split. Nice. They can only split once, I guess. And I think that's the one we'd already fought. Uh, great sword. Ooh, can we use that? DPR 5.5. Is it two? It is two handed. War pick plus two. DPR 5.1. This could be good. We'll take the, the war pick. Um, we might want to play a little bit of inventory management at some point. Um, definitely there's going to be advantages and disadvantages to using either weapon because, you know, some weapons are better at uh, killing certain things than others. You cannot explore when there are hostile creatures. Where, where is the hostile creature? Uh, yeah, for instance, a war pick is not going to be good against a skeleton. Um... Because it only does... Oh, it does blunt? Apparently it does blunt. Never mind. The war pick is great against the skeleton. Ouch. The skeleton is really tough, though. Our friend is uh, getting absolutely destroyed, and they are now dead. Oh, God. This could be the end. Uh, apparently zombies don't oh never mind. I was gonna say they don't know how to open doors, but they totally do I'm very I'm mourning the loss of our friend that sucks Okay, um Well things are gonna be a lot harder now that we don't have an ally So let's go into this teleporter. Why not large spider and yeah, we can take out a large spider. Oh, they're not Hostile with us. Okay. Oh, gets hostile. Okay. Well. An elf. Oh, God. Uh, this could be the end. We have Darrow. Um, items on ground. I, I, I kind of uh, need to be able to do... I, I don't care about this. I, I need to use our talent. Let's use health surge and run away. Okay, we can't close the door. Uh, we uh, potion of healing. Let's come on, do it. Uh, I'm gonna switch to our. I keep switching our weapon, un unfortunately, in, in opportune moments. Are we gonna take it? Wow, there's too many creatures for us right now. This is what Kobold tribe leader. They have fuel shot. They they killed us. Okay. The world goes dark, you die. You have died. Well, um, as far as traditional roguelikes go, this is one of the most traditional that I've ever done. But I have to say, it's also one of the most, um, like, modernly updated. Like, it really is kind of, um, it has been brought to... Uh, a point where where you could you could like you could have never played a traditional roguelike ever and play this game and um, Figure it out pretty pretty quickly. I think There's definitely a lot of depth here um, There's a lot of nuance and there's a lot of things to figure out But um, all of the tools are here like yeah I had the manual open on my on my second monitor, but I, I scarcely needed it a lot of the information is in the game as well um, and once you look, study maybe some of the key commands with H, uh, you could just uh, kind of, you know, uh, bumble along like I did. Um, this is a really cool game. I, I really like this. I love the, um, the some of the, the, the comparisons to D&D &D and uh, some of the influences that are in this one. But uh, yeah, uh, I'd be interested in doing a, uh, a, a series of this for sure. 
but we'll have to see. Um, you know, time is, is limited. But let me know in the comments if you'd like to see more of this Zorbus. Um, if you enjoyed this video, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. And I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.